shadow. So let me do that real quick. Without the shadow or without the uh, this background. So we need to do a couple different things. We come into, let's see, where is it? Um, sorry, this takes me a while. I was, um, okay, well, so we go to film here. Here we are. And we want transparent to be on, and it is. That's good. Uh, so now we come back to the object properties, and in here we want to do visibility. Where is it? Oh yeah, in under visibility we turn on shadow catcher, and that's what we want. So now you can see there's the shadows there, um, but then now we got to shut this guy off, right? Because we want want only the shadows. In fact, if we want this, we can just do this. Let's let's just render this out. Um, and you can see now it's transparent with that square. Um, so, so now it's rendered out um, with a transparent background. So we do image, save as. We call it render shadow transparent. Okay. Now we go back into Photoshop. We Let's delete that layer, come into here, bring that in. Um, so it's not perfectly lined up because there's Z depth there, right? So like this box was um, there. So as we hide that, see now it lines up with that. And then now we have the shadow, we can go into, um, grab a photo just real quick. So as an example, um, we do copy image, we do paste, we scale it up, right, and then we move it back, and now we see that we have um, right. We have the shadow layer, which. Um, Gives it a lot of good depth. Um, okay, so but we don't need that right now. We'll just do um, do this and do that. Okay, so now we've just got similar color from there. Cool. Um, what else? Oh, so now this edge. The last thing is. Let's see, let's turn everything back on. Okay. Um, I think I go into here. So we have this weird edge right here. See that? And we don't want that, right? It's kind of all the way around it. Um, it's kind of odd. Um, now that's coming from shading. That's coming from this right here, this transparency, this alpha. So if I come down into here and I slide this over to there. Nope. I'm going to move this and then this one I'm going to do 0.01. Okay, and that did not work, which is unfortunate. So I have to do, I'm gonna try this, 0.001. Okay, so that's not working either. So I do 0.1, and then this black one, we're gonna do 0.09. Hmm, I'll hold on here. Okay, so that's not that. So that's, I was wrong. So, point one. Point oh one. Okay, so that's the transparency. So it's actually this displacement which is coming from here. Okay, so what we're gonna do, um, 
it's coming from here. We have it clipped. We have it non-color. Um, so what we're going to do is go back into Photoshop and okay so I think what we're gonna have to do is this so we add in a an, an inner glow a stroke which doesn't show up so we'll add an inner glow now this adds dark to the uh, image itself so then we do file export um, click export and then we'll do um, outlined um, border, we'll call this one, okay? So we'll use this one as the displacement. So let's open up this and we do outline border, we do open. So right now this one is giving the height here. We actually don't want that, we want this one. Outline border. So we're going to do the color, um, right? Because it's the, yeah, we want the color here. So we do color, it goes into height. And there we go. Now that edge is fixed. Um, if you'll notice, it's now kind of ramped up a little bit, right? From there. But that's better than the alternative. Um, so that was a long way to get around that, but um, you can tweak that. So um, same thing, go into here render out um, the image, but then you get a cleaner, a cleaner edge here. Cool, so that's it. Uh, 